Greetings, YouTube community, citizens of America. It is I, Lex Anderson, here to offer up another fireside chat in regards to the state and status of America and its citizens. And the first thing I would like to make mention is it is Black History Month. And I thank you very much for tuning in, first and foremost. I was about to getting ready to unwind. It's been a very long weekend, sports filled, uh, fresh off the jet from, uh, you know, Super Bowl 53. And unfortunately, the Rams, they definitely played like there was a wall on the field. Uh, I guess that would be the Patriots defense because they never sniffed the red zone the entire game. Pathetic. But it is Black History Month. The fireside chats are back. And I am here not just to talk about the follies and foolishness of, uh, you know, number 45, DT, Trump. I, Citizen Anderson, am here to talk about all things as relating to politics, because I feel that the Republican Party and the Democratic Party, they're both equally incompetent. Everybody claims to have the American people at the forefront of their cares and causes and concerns, but it's further from the truth than you can ever imagine. Lobbyists line the pockets of our politician, politicians excuse me, with money. Think about it. Why does it cost so much to have a dinner with the president? 10, 25, 50,000. <laughs> but either way, today is not a day to talk about DT for once, even though tomorrow he will have his State of the Union address. So I can only imagine what that ass clown ass has to say. But what I do have to say is first, let's recognize our history, black history. And I found some things on Twitter actually, which I would like to share. On February 3rd, there was a young woman by the name of Orthorin Lucy who became the first black student at the University of Alabama. And that occurred in 1956, only 63 years ago. So please don't ever let some white person tell you about how long ago slavery was. Because to this day in 2019, there are severe repercussions that we, people of color, African-American, Latinos, Hispanics, still have to face to this very day. And of course, Citizen Anderson is speaking more prominently on the behalf of the African-American community. An atrocity, 63 years ago, it's still memorable. And also, that it didn't occur in February, but it still needs to be brought, as I saw it on Twitter, that three days after Hurricane Katrina, there was a young man, 20 years old, named Jabber Gibson, who took a New Orleans Parish school bus and transported 70 people on a 13-hour road trip to the Astrodome in Houston since the government wouldn't take anyone in at the time. So salutes to both citizens, African-American of color, who came to the rescue of their people or left a prominent benchmark in history. And speaking of history, there's a lot of things going on in the entertainment realm, but it's been affected by politics. And you know what it is, 21 Savage, what's going on? Detained by ICE. Wow, what a start to the early month of Black History Month. 21 Savage, he's not from Atlanta, he's from the United Kingdom, and his passport, his visa, his visa, excuse me, his visa expired somewhere between 2004 and 2006, but he was detained over this weekend. And I have to note, maybe a month or so, I was watching Ellen, and he was on Ellen, and he was talking about promoting financial literacy to black people or people of color, because black is a color. 
African American people. So very interesting. This is where you stay woke, folks. 21 Savage, stepping outside the realm of the rap game, of the trap music, trying to financially educate our people. And now all of a sudden, his visa expired. He's been here since 2004, 2006. He should have been gone. I'm like, the man's a public figure, folks. What's going on here? So I was playing some 21 Savage today at work, listening to the music. Very interesting. I I actually learned today that the tattoo in between his eyes was actually a knife. I never even knew that. I thought it was like maybe some type of flower or tree branch. It looked weird. But look at that. So we've probably seen 21 Savage for the last time, unless he has some really good lawyers. Because once you hear the words detained by ICE, you're probably never going to be heard from again when they ship you back out to your country of origin. And then something very sad that I had came across that also occurred last week, that there was a federal detention center here in Brooklyn that was without heat and electricity for six whole days. And last week, it was bitterly cold, not even bitterly cold. It was like single digits Monday and Tuesday. And Yandy from Love and Hip Hop, she was out there bringing attention to it. And she got, I believe it was either pepper sprayed or tear gas for her efforts. And hearing the sound of her on the megaphone telling people to bang on the windows or scream as she's asking questions. Now, I, Citizen Anderson, am a law-abiding citizen. I detest rule breakers, law breakers, people who commit crimes and felonies and murders and their ilk. But to deny people the basic services when being held in detention is abysmal, reprehensible, and just downright disgusting. Where do we go from here? I don't know. I'm just here reporting it in case you didn't happen to catch wind of it. 21 Savage, keep your head up, young man. Thank you for giving us the beautiful music that you've offered. Sad to say that you tried to go higher than the realm of music and trap music to try to put people on a path to financial, being smart financially with their money. And what do you get for your efforts? You get detained by ICE and are probably being processed to be shipped out of America. Salutes to you, 21 Savage. Well, that is all I have in this fireside chat with Lex Anderson. Thank you very much for tuning in. However, I would advise you to do the right and patriotic thing, which would be to to subscribe to this channel. Press that button on your left. The bell icon to your right. Ding! Press it so you stay updated for any and all upcoming future videos. Thank you very much for tuning in. And as always... God bless America, but God bless each and every one of you.